it's one, just to <laughs> enjoy the water drink. Two water drinks, there's only me we can just a little bit. Oh, oh shut up. It's fine, it's fine. I've only got five minutes. BBC Radio 4 Afternoon Play Idea. Thank you. Number three. A glockenspiel indicates a train. Scene one, a psychiatrist's office. Problem? I want to tell stories, but I never know how to round things up, you know. How I give someone a perfectly circular tail they can spin around the hips for an afternoon. Take the other day, for example. In a carriage between London and Manchester, a man got into a fight with the conductor. The conductor had a face like a dilapidated barn, and he was trying to make the man pay full fare because he hadn't bought his ticket on the station. And the man said he hadn't had a chance. He'd been rushing. His wife was in hospital because she'd slipped down the stairs, and, and he had to get back to see her and didn't he understand and couldn't he let him off just once? The conductor said he was just following orders, and the man replied that that's what they'd said at Nuremberg. And the conductor snatched his money and stormed off, and the man with the wife with a sprained ankle and a broken arm was left contemplating the thin, orange slice of meat that was his ticket. And isn't that a perfect place to end? Suppose it would be, but why was there a button missing from the man's coat? And where did the exhausted metaphor of the train sleep that night? And what does the conductor smell like first thing on a morning? <laughs> <laughs>